Here for reaction, former economic advisor to Ronald Reagan, Art Laffer. Art, good to see you. Good Why to can't see it just you, be Trish. zero How for everyone? You? I'm good. I, I just don't under, you know, 15 percent, whoop de doo uh, They're still at 15 percent. We're at two and a half. I don't understand, Art, why we just can't say, okay, no tariffs. Nobody's going to have any tariffs. Let's get rid of tariffs altogether. I would make you my trade negotiator every day of the week and <laughs> twice on Sunday, Trish. You're my favorite. That's the right answer. Of course it's the right answer. You should be over there in China mm. negotiating this stuff. Uh, by the way, along with Larry Kudlow, I think yeah. he agrees with you 100%. Well, Larry, Larry does agree. He was right on the answer. show Friday saying he does agree with that sentiment. Because, you know, look, if we want to... We want to change. I think the the trade deficit is a little bit of a misguided um, statistic, right? Because totally. we, we consume a lot, and, and I sure hope we can continue to consume a lot, right? It's nice to be a consumer and to buy a lot of stuff. Uh, the president keeps pointing to the trade deficit as what we need to reduce. I say forget about the trade That's deficit. Right. That'll reduce itself or work itself out. Get rid of the tariffs. Yes, 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 and yes. I go to Walmart, and just think of it, Trish. If you go to Walmart, uh, without Walmart, there is no lower class or middle class prosperity. And without China, there is no Walmart. There's nothing wrong with trading with China. It's wonderful. It's terrific. It's they've got too high tariffs on our products. Yeah. And by the way, as you say, we've got too high tariffs on their products. It should both be down to zero. Yeah, well... In some cases, we don't have any tariffs at all. I mean, I know they don't send us any well, then wheat, zero, but if, then, then you if they were to send us wheat, <laughs> we would charge zero percent. There's another good statistic in here. Cotton. They're charging 40 percent on raw car cotton that's going over there. And they're also charging a big hefty sum on any clothes. So, you know, it, I'd yeah. like the U.S. to be able to make a few T-shirts here, too, and we could send them to China. <laughs> but why would you buy them in China? Because you got a giant... Giant tax effectively. What would be on the them? logo on the t shirts you got from China? What would you put as your logo? <laughs> we could say made in USA, you know, right? That would go you, over well. If you, look at, <laughs> if you look at Japan, they're even worse than China. They've got all these non tariff barriers. They don't even collect any tax revenues. They just do it just to discriminate. It makes no sense. And then there's no discussion of currency manipulation, which right. everyone knows the Japanese devalued there. You know, what we want is a free trade world, a totally free trade world where allocation of resources. But China okay. is not our enemy. China is our friend, and we've got to work with them to get well, this done right. you know, I, I, I know what you're trying to say, but, you know, Art, sometimes I wonder, because this is an economy that needs to be reckoned with, right? I mean, China's Why economy is a big, big deal, and it's going to keep getting bigger. And you know that economic prosperity is also going to lead to the desire for more military prosperity, shall we say, and that makes it more and more difficult oh, to should confront should the ever, rising Chinese threat. But should everyone in the world hate us because we're a great big economy, too, and we have a military that surpasses theirs? No. I, I think there's no but reason why we can't But don't you want to say that be, way? Oh, I'd love to, but that's I want to do it by us growing, not by us trying to pull China down. I want us to do the best job we possibly can on this planet, but I want other countries to do that, too, Trish. It's really important. So long as it's not coming... Moment. It, you know, at the expense of us, Art. That's right. No, that's right. Okay. I want us to cooperate and work together. I was the first person to go to mainland China with George Schultz and John Ehrlichman in modern times, by the way. We set up the Kissinger trip. And I was I went there with my arms crossed, hating them, knowing it would be a real problem. And I fell head over heels in love with them. I mean, this is the country that should be our best trading partner in the world. And they should be our best friend. Yeah. Well, they really can't be when they're... Uh, <clears throat> Not doing yeah, what we putting, need them to do, when, shall we say, what, in North Korea. I mean, they're well, helping they, a little bit now. We're getting better. Um, yeah. But, you know, this, this whole summit thing may be off. Can't the Chinese it, maybe come to the table and use a little influence there with Kim Jong-un? I hope so. I hope so. They've already done some. But a year ago, remember, we didn't even think there was a possibility of such a thing. I mean, Trump, Trump has done a miracle with North Korea. You've got to admit that. It's just amazing. And then with you as our trade negotiator and zero tariffs worldwide, you know, it will be nirvana <laughs> here in America. We'll be on you cloud know, look, nine. I, well, It'll be hey, Ameri um, America the Great. I, I, I would love to negotiate it because I'll tell you, it shouldn't be as hard as everyone's making it. And, it's not uh, hard. It, it, we could sell so many more products in China, in India, all over the world if these countries didn't put this lousy tax on our stuff. 
and it would help them. Those products they want, they need those products. We, we produce high quality, low cost, great products that they need desperately. Their mm -hmm. poverty would lift them out of poverty. Why does their government not want to let us make them richer? Because they are help. afraid. They are afraid, Art, that uh, we will thus have more, you know, they're afraid we're too powerful, right? They, they don't like the fact that we're as powerful as we are to begin with. And then if they keep buying our stuff, we become more and more. So, I, you know, look, I, I don't want to see a trade war. I know you don't want to see a trade war. No, not, but no these negotiations can be much better, and they need to be more aggressive. Rome wasn't built in a day, but uh, they got their work cut out for them. But I think one thing that's true here, Tricia, that there is an historical problem in China, that these trade reg regulations and tariffs come from a long history when China wasn't what it is today. Right. Now they've got to grow up. They're now a big boy nation of this world. Now they've got to behave like one and cut their tariffs to zero with Trish Reagan as our <laughs> economic <laughs> negotiator. Hey, listen, I Art, love that idea, by the way. Oh, I love it. Oh, oh well, uh, you're you know, super. I, you, you've had a big influence on me, for sure, Art. Uh, I like a lot of the economic principles you stand by. What, what do you mean sure. a lot? Which ones a don't lot. you? Cut taxes, would you? Well, I'm trying. <laughs> cut taxes, trying like cut that. taxes. Keep cutting them. I think that uh, <laughs> the economy would benefit. Uh, we need some growth. Anyway, Art, it's a pleasure, sir. As Thank always. you, Tracia. It's lovely being with you.